I wish I could turn back time. Mm -mm -mm. Stay up all night singing songs on the terrace. We didn't mind sitting out in the cold. It was impossible to make us embarrassed. We were free. Stealing smokes from your parents Sometimes we got a bit out of control When they found out we ran from home Just to scare them we were free When we were 17 Hi guys, welcome to today's vlog So it is now Monday my husband just left for work. He's actually taking my packages because I wasn't able to get them all packaged up last night for the mailman to come pick them up. And if you are part of my live, um, we got all those packages went out. There was a lot of them, you guys. It was a lot of money, <laughs> but that's okay because you guys are worth it. Y'all are worth it. I'm gonna show you guys what I got, but the ones that we didn't have addresses for is Luana Princess Boutique, which is uh, Johanna. Um, I don't know this one's just so Karen W. Tina B. Fashion. So those are the ones. I think this one was like Pamela something. Yeah, Pamela, Renee, something. So those are the ones we need. And this was for. I think Luana said she tried because she was on Danny's live this morning and said she tried. So I gave her my email again. So hopefully um, she will get that to me and I can send it out. But I. Ooh, yeah. Oh, fancy. So I ordered. Glitter vinyl. I'm just gonna show you guys what I got. What is that? Oh, why is it like that? So I wanted some new stuff because I want to make some new stuff. That's pretty. And so I got this. So it's just like a leopard print and it's a glitter vinyl. I was just wondering why it had that strip of silver on there. But. So I got that. I wanted to try you know i don't know what i'm gonna make with it yet but i'll make something with it and then i had to order gold and white so they're both together and then i needed more of the rainbow i used the rainbow on jojo's and i mentioned that i like i won't say discontinued but i just deactivated a lot of all of my jojo's really um, I will only raise a list them when somebody, you know, specifically asks me and wants to purchase it. I have one lady right now and she was like, I went to order it and it's not there. I don't know. I said, you know, I deactivated all my copyrighted items. In it. Um, if you want, when you want to purchase, just let me know and I'll, uh, reactivate it. But so far I've been keeping quite busy without them. So that's a good thing. Cause you know, you kind of worry like... These are my money makers. Am I gonna still be able to make money? <laughs> Am I still gonna pew? This stuff stinks. To me, all embroidery glitter vinyl stinks. It just smells oh, oh, like dead rotten fish. But anyway, I am rolling these. I usually separate them and then roll them back up. That's all I got in the mail today. I don't know if I have really anything else coming. I haven't placed any shirt orders, so I know I don't have any shirt orders. Oh, I don't know if I shared yesterday we went to Dream Deals. Are you surprised? Probably not. We love that place. And in this, this thing, and then in here, I pulled in the mall up and put them in there. But I found the actual bags that I ship my ribbon trims in. So these are the ones I order. 
so I found a big pack of them. I don't know if it was two packs in one or, but this thing is like full, like that, like full of them. So there's a good many in there. So, so today I need to finish up this one. I'm working on the hair bows to go with that. And then I have a bunch of other, other orders. I want to try to get caught up. I also have to make a remake an order for somebody. They got their order and they said one of the letters looked funny. I don't know what happened there. I don't know if they... I don't know if they washed it with something and it got messed up. I don't know. You know, I try not to be like snooty or be like, oh, you, you ruined it. You ruined it. You got to live with it. Um, but, you know. So I said, I gave them the option that I could either give them half of their money back or I could, they could send it back and remake it. <clears throat> so they chose to send it back. So I have to remake that one. And then I have quite a few I want to get done. I want to try to get my orders down. Right now I'm at 71 orders and I tend to stay between 70 and 90 orders. And so I want to get a big chunk. I want to try to get at least maybe 20 done today. I did 12 yesterday and I started at like 7 didn't I? I know. It was late. So I started later at 7. So I figured if I start here it's 1.30 so if I start by 2.30 because I'm going to finish these hair bows. If I start by 2.30 at 4 I'm going to put ham in the crock pot and then continue working. So. so it's not the time I told you. It is 3.51. I'm just getting downstairs. It's freezing down here. Um, I wanted to finish I finished Four, not finished, but I did four hair bows of the bow and the spikes. Um, three are for orders. I wanted to make more hair bows, but I wanna really wanted to get down here and start work too. Um, I did put ham in the crock pot, so we'll have ham for dinner. I think I'll probably just um, do some potatoes in the instant pot and then like green beans or something with that. And that's dinner. So I don't really have to worry too much about doing anything other than probably about 5 o'clock peeling the potatoes and sticking them in the instant pot. Um, but the plan, so I've been watching my old videos from when we went to Michigan last time, which it has been since 2019. It was May, it was like Memorial Day in, right into the beginning of June. Um, when we last went so it's been over a year it'll almost be two years um come may so you know i miss my family i miss i miss i miss them and so i was like telling my husband and sterly I'm like you know i'm going to go we're gonna go she's like when when <laughs> like I'm like we're gonna go tomorrow i was like well i have to we just can't up and leave, like, because we got critters, you know. And it's hard to plan, like, a trip or to go somewhere when you don't have anyone who will care for the animals like you care for them. And y'all know I've been thinking about getting rid of Flynn for a while. Um, I think if we get rid of Flynn, I, I'm on the fence about getting rid of Millie. I love Millie. I love all my animals. I love them all. But like I was telling her, I think Flynn needs... I don't know what Flynn needs, honestly. He Does he need more goats, maybe, to be herded with? I think, maybe. I don't know. See, I don't know. I never had goats, so I don't know goat behavior to be like, oh, he needs this. But he is a very, like... If... If I'm like at the fence and want to pet him, he's okay. You know, he's sweet. He wants to be petted, but then all of a sudden he wants to hook you with his horns. He wants to just, and he's like malicious. Like he destroys everything. He already has destroyed the fence that was in there. 
Um, he tried to destroy the sunshade that was in there. He's destroying the house that is in there. He did already destroyed the house before, um, and then we had to remake it. So I don't, I don't know if that's just like a go, like his, his, his personality. His, he came from. This guy probably had a hundred or more goats so he came from a herd a huge herd and I don't know if that affects them you know but, you know he learned some behaviors because we got him when he was he had you know his horns weren't that long but they were a little bit long so um I don't know I think Flynn has to go and you know that's the lifestyle when you have a farm you know you have to better your environment for the other animals and I don't think Flynn fits in very well. I think Flynn needs maybe more goats. I don't know. Like, does he need more interaction with goats, other goats than Millie? So this is what, this is like my thought process. Um, so I'm thinking, I want, I'm not going to get rid of, I want to I want to keep my chickens I want to keep my ducks I love my chickens I love my ducks um, I would love to have more ducks actually and it's kind of weird because in the beginning everybody said ducks were gross and stinky and all this other stuff about ducks and um, but I really love having the ducks I really I really enjoy them I enjoy taking care of them um, they haven't produced any eggs yet so I don't know if they're male or female but they're just, they're really, like, I don't know. Like, they don't cause a big ruckus. They make noises when they're happy. And, you know, rah, 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 which I think is cute. They get excited when I fill up their water and their little tails wig. Um, they absolutely love it when I give them the... Um, the worms, the mealworms, the dried ones, they, they get all excited. Almost like a dog, like they get a little happy dance and they get excited. They just have like such sweet personalities. And like when I'm filling it up, you know, they'll look over. And the one duck, because ducks are really skittish of people, I think they have to be handled a lot when they're younger to not be. But I've heard that the majority of ducks are pretty much, they don't touch me. But They've always been that way, but when I feed them and fill them up, they know that I'm doing that, so they are not. So, like, when I'm filling it up, like, the one duck will come over and he'll, like, because it's kind of squirting the water, squirting off the water, and he's all, like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and it's just so cute. I just love them. And so, this is, like, you know, you're, like, how am I going to pull off a trip to Michigan? If I want, I want to go, because I was telling her, last time we went for, like, 10 days, it was amazing i would love to go again for another because when we go for a week it feels like we're so rushed that's my family i want to be with them but we only have seven days so imagine if you could only see your parents for seven days um it's just you know if you add a few more days it makes it a little bit nicer if i had two weeks that would be absolutely amazing but again we can't afford something probably because the condo itself my parents don't have enough room for us to stay with them um there really isn't any other alternative places to stay i mean my sister she's got her family um my other sister lives with my mom and dad so there's like no room at their house and so there's just you know i don't there's nowhere else for us to go but to get a place to stay and so I love the last two times we got these condos in this little area and it's really close to my mom and dad I really love the location it even has a pool which is really nice um, so I would love to like find another place in that area if you look back at our Michigan videos our last two ones you'll see that we were at the, these condos there um, but I would really like to stay there and so I have to figure out so I'm planning this for hopefully May I'm thinking May June um, we want it where the weather is nicer in Michigan um, it's really cold there in the winter and then in the spring so even last time in May there was still snow around so um, you know we just I just want to plan it. I just want something to look forward to and to plan and to, you know, 
like this is this is a goal of mine um we didn't get to go this past year because obviously there was covid and you know all the travel restrictions and i was hoping so i was planning our trip last year to go in july when my niece was getting married so that was kind of like the plan but then covid and then i didn't know if she was getting married if she's not getting married because of covid and so you know she didn't get married we didn't go it was like in a thick of things right there in the summer where you know so um yeah i i, I want to go home <laughs> and so i'm going to be working my butt off to try to save money so we can go and I can go see my family and I've already I've already been talking about it so it's like you know when you talk about things you get all excited so I got Sterling all excited everybody's all excited um, but again I have to think about what I've got going on here I think like I was telling her it's like you know people change and their mindsets change and you know there's just you know you change and so I don't think I necessarily changed like I still love my animals I still love having like the farmy kind of adventure but I think um, you know I want to make sure the animals get the correct and right care that they need and if we leave for let's say 10 days um, who's gonna take care of them um, I know that I can depend on cousin Julie like if I asked her she would probably come take care of the chickens she's got chickens herself so I know that wouldn't be a big problem and plus they have a feeder in their chicken coop and it's a 30 gallon I think it holds a lot of food I only have to fill it up twice a week so um if I fill it up you know before we leave they should be good then she fills it up once and then just make sure they have water and collect their eggs other than that they'll be okay they do free range a lot but for 10 days if they don't free range I think they'll be alright I mean I don't think it would harm them hurt them in any way um, and then the guineas I've always said I wanted to get rid of them because they're mean to the chickens here lately we've been keeping them outside of the chicken coop um, they have gotten in a couple times but uh, for the most part they're just out free ranging in the yard and as long as they're fed and have water I think they would be fine I mean I don't think they would actually leave our property I think can I hold you yeah oh. mm. so decisions have to be made on what we're going to do but Long-term goal, not long-term goal, but May goal is to go to Michigan. What are you doing? I got a flack. Oh, you need a diaper change and you need some clothes on. What happened to your clothes? Did you eat all your mac and cheese? Mm-hmm. You did? Okay, let's go. What a mess behind me. Look at that, eh? I really need to clean up. Let's turn you this way. You guys can look. Hold on, my shirt I made is right here. I gotta move it. There we go. I just can't deal with people today. I just can't deal with customers. I hate to be that way. Okay. Okay. But it's like, y'all, it's like, I'm not magic. I'm not magic. People think you're magic or something. Number one, they think you, they can get things like right away, even though, you know, your turnaround time's two weeks, but they need it like in three days and they just place an order. Hey, I need this one. I didn't get that, but um, I had that happen to me here recently. And then another person is complaining. Their item isn't what they thought it was going to be. I'm like, it says it in the listing. This is ex your item is exactly that it's I don't, know. don't know don't know don't know don't know don't know anyway i just thought i'd complain because you all understand me y'all got me but i have been moving in two speeds slow and stop no. it's like i'm trying to get work done 
but like earlier so I come down here I started everything um, I had to go upstairs chickens went in the neighbor's hat yard I had to go fetch back my chickens um, I had to feed the goats uh, in the meantime I had peeled potatoes had them in the instant pot they were finally done and then the girls tracked in a bunch of mud because they both were outside so I was gonna clean that up journey went back outside she fell down in the mud psh, covered in mud so I had to bring her back in had to get her in the bathtub got to get her cleaned up in the meantime I had to go clean up the floor where they tracked in mud and then while I'm mopping and cleaning that up journeys in the shower and then I have to you know go in there and get her out of the shower well actually thoroughly did thankfully because Otherwise, I had to, and then by that, you know, potatoes were already done and already, you know, self-released themselves for, I don't know how long they were sitting in there, but when I turned the little nozzle, it didn't even really pssst any. <laughs> so, so then potatoes were done, so then I had to mash potatoes, and I had to get the corn on the stove, and luckily the ham was already done because it was an instant pot, not instant crock pot. Anyway, so all this is going on and then for whatever reason I felt the need to vacuum so then I start vacuuming and I'm like what am I doing because I need to be getting work done and so we all got fed I came down here started working had to answer messages people complaining and it always it will it will always I had to find that one that wasn't ruffled. Um, it always makes my blood boil when I get, I mean, it's not like, I'm not saying, oh, my stuff is wonderful and people shouldn't complain, but you know, you, you, you send your best stuff up and you think you do a good job. And then when somebody complains about it and you're like, your feelings are a little hurt. <laughs> um, but there was, yeah, I can't do anything about the situation, you know, it's like, it's like if, if, if it was, you know, something I could fix, then I can fix it, but this, I can't fix the color of the shirt I can't fix it the color is the color is the color is the color I didn't make it <laughs> you know what I mean this it's like when people I've gotten an order a request before and they wanted me to use lavender and they sent me a picture and as you guys know all pictures differ you know from monitor to screen to phone to you know wherever you're looking at it no you know that you can't base colors I have one customer I'm dealing with right now and they keep sending me pictures and I tell them you know I can't make my glitter vinyl match that color I just can't make it match the color of your hair bow you know what I mean the, the color that you use I only have one hot pink I only have one pink I only have you know what did they the the blue they wanted the blues to match I'm like I only have a couple different blues in glitter vinyl I have a turquoise which is the only turquoise I can use and that's the only turquoise that matches it's an Elsa so um, they're really nice I mean I'm not saying they're not the customers not nice you know they're eat they've been really nice to me and that's you know nice because you can get a lot of like mean customers or customers that just don't understand um but this this customer has been really nice and but i can't i can't match colors like that i can't do that and just because if you order you specifically say i want a purple shirt and i order a purple shirt and it's not the right shade of purple I can't do anything about that. I mean, I can't. That's that's life. You know what I mean? It's. And then they said something about 
you know, getting the correct shade of purple. I, I'm not magic. There was like one person, they're like, they wanted me to use something. Can you make this with something fabric? I'm like, where am I supposed to get this fabric at that you want? Where am I supposed to get it from? Because tell me where to get the fabric and I will go order it and make it. And I really did, I did really say that to them too. I did say, okay, well let me know where to purchase this fabric at and I will purchase it so I can make it for you. And then they commented back, I said back that they had no idea where to, where to buy this fabric at. I'm like, well, all right then. I'm not, I'm not a magician. I'm trying to find, I'm out of my 15 by 15 sheets and let me know if any of y'all do this. Um, because my hoop is a 10 by 10 and this will not fit it and I like the entire hooped to be covered in stabilizer I use my sewing machine which is right here behind you and I just sew so there I sewed the little bit of stabilizer on there it ain't going nowhere I'm sure you could use tape if you wanted to as long as it stay goes there, stays there, and is stabilized. That's all I care about. Um, I've been doing this for quite some time now, though. <laughs> so I did this before I got my 15 by 15 sheets. Um, I don't do it, like, for every single order. Just the orders that I know need the stabilizer. Because this is another JoJo shirt. And I want to make sure it's got stabilizer like the whole thing is nice and stabilized and you know that way it's not loose anywhere it's completely it's completely you know locked in there so um So that's that. I have to load up this design and continue working and I hope I can get quite a few done still even though it's already 8 o'clock and I've only gotten three. I've only gotten three done on two machines and I started what four hours ago. That's the way life is sometimes. That's the way it goes. So Hope and Jern will take a nap. Well, 8 o'clock nap. Now, hopefully she'll go to bed. Okay, so tell me again. Well, I went to check on my hermit crabs. The one that was in this shell, um, it like molted and then it died. Yeah, so, so we found it here. here. Found it dead. We'll turn this around. So yesterday, she didn't want to look at her hermit crabs. She's got three of them. One belongs to Journey, but they all live together. And so she's like, Mom, will you check this? Because there's something out of the shell. And I think it's my hermit crab, and I think he's dead. And I'm like, what? No, you do it. But she talked me into it. <laughs> so I went over there, and sure enough, I picked it up with some gloves, and there's like a skeleton of this crab it's got eyes and all, you know, it's it's the crab. But there was still a crab inside of the shell. It molted. Inside of this shell right here. So I was like, what in the world? So then, all day today, so there were still three crabs, but there was one body. And we disposed of the body, which she said they molt. So if you don't know what that is, they lose their... Eco-skeleton. Eco-skeleton? That's what it said. Okay. So, but I didn't know if the hermit crab was dead or not. She so didn't I know left if it was it dead. in there because I was scared that it was... So we looked and we poked at it and it was alive. So then today, the crab was coming out of this shell. Of this shell right here. It was coming out of it. So we were like, okay. And I touched it and it went back in the shell. So I'm like... Well, you still have three crabs, 
so obviously it's still alive and it kept coming out so we're like well maybe it needs a bigger shell so I went on Amazon today I ordered some more shells for them and I ordered some more sand for them so then later she checked on it and she's like mom I think it's dead and so now she just came to me and she said that <laughs> this crab Harvey. Harvey is no longer in Harvey's shell that Harvey moved out into his dead friend's shell I'm so shell shocked <laughs> here's Harvey Harvey moved out of dead fr dead, <laughs> dead friend dead friend don't you get me? It's like, but <laughs> I pinched my hand when what I was he keep doing that? No, 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 no! Stop that! He's telling me, leave me alone. <laughs> he likes to go out when he's picked up more than when he's. See what he does to me. The bigger one. If he moved out of that shell, the bigger one probably needs to trying to get shell. me. He's trying to get me. Harvey, what did you do? <laughs> that was so, so... Harvey, this was somebody else's house just like this morning. What'd you do? Did you kill it? Huh? Might have. Did you beat him up over his shell? Beat him up and take his shell? Well... Maybe he needed a bigger shell. Is this one bigger? Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we got more shells coming, so. The bigger guy probably will. <laughs> Crazy crabs. He's feeling around. Hey, y'all. So it's thundering outside. Really good. Sterling <laughs> really just came down here. It is like 1.39 at night. Girls are still awake because of the thunderstorm. So um, I did finish. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen orders. So um, I need to. I gotta print off a couple more shipping labels because I didn't get them all earlier. And then I'm going to head to bed with my ladies. So just making sure I got everything in here. That don't belong in here. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. I scared Sissy. Mm -hmm. You guys ready for bed? Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye, guys. <laughs>